What's up gamers? Welcome to another patch preview, this time for patch 11.15. This patch, according to Riot, has a focus of shaking up the pro scene and continuing to drop early sustain in some places. While things are still subject to change, there's still lots to cover as far as what you've got to look forward to next week, so let's dive right in. It's one item and a whole lot of champions in the 11.15 patch preview. To the Aurelian Soul Mains. Yes, all six of you. We salute you and we grieve with you. Your favorite galaxy throwing dragon is getting nerfed. His flight distance on his E is getting slammed down to a flat 5,000 units across all ranks. The changes in Irelia's W were a little too strong in the patch 11.14, so it's getting its AD ratio reduced by 10%, and the physical and magic damage reduction that it gives are going down by 10% and 5% respectively at max rank. Pro tip. Enjoy W Max Irelia while you still can. It's bananas right now. That one was free. Gwen is finally losing just a bit of her insane early trading power. The attack speed on her E at rank 1 is slated to drop to 20% from 40%, but it will still cap out at 80% in the late game. Other champions receiving nerfs are Annie, Silas, Thresh, Lane Viego, Kale, and Wukong. Next up, Blitzcrank buffs. His rocket grab's base damage is going up by 20 across the board, and its AP ratio is going up to a whopping 120%. Pair him up with either Caitlyn or Zaya, both of whom are getting pretty big buffs as well, and you can do some damage in the bottom lane. A lot of AP top laners are feeling the love this patch. Cassiopeia is getting 10 more damage on her E at all ranks. Mordekaiser is getting two sizable buffs to his W, and Kennen's Q is getting buffs to both its base damage and its AP ratio. In the jungle, the mighty jungle, the cougar roams again. Hopefully. Nidalee's getting 25 additional base HP, bringing it up to a healthy 570, and an additional 10 HP per level should help out her late game a bit as well. Other champions receiving buffs this patch include Rel, Shivana, and Syndra. Now to items. Between Hullbreaker and Anathemus chains, the latter lived up to the billing, and then some. It's nuts. But Hullbreaker has fallen a bit short. It didn't really feel like the item was worth building unless you were already stomping the game, so Riot is beefing up the split pusher item to give it 60 of each resistance at max level instead of 45. Another thing that Riot devs said they wanted to do in this patch was to buff champions in places that they thought players would enjoy. So, did you? Let us know in the comments and replies, and for more information on the changes as they come out, stay up to date with them on our website, as well as our Twitter and other social media platforms, and of course, like and subscribe for more video content right here on our YouTube channel, and we'll see you back here real soon.